and we back today we're doing a video that i have been planning for weeks literal weeks and we finally have almost all the things to get it started today we are rebuilding the worst team in every 2k in existence now i know you're probably looking at the numbers here and say kenny there's a big gap between 2007 and, and 2011 Again, I said almost every game is here. I'm guessing that, you know, I'm going to record a couple of these today. I'll record a couple tomorrow, and day after that, day after that. And eventually, we'll have all the games. So, y'all, this is a video I've been planning for a very long time. I had to order three different consoles. I had to order all, almost all 20 games. And again, some of them ain't even here yet. I don't know how. They told me that they should have been delivered four days ago, and yet they, I still, anyway, one of the consoles that I had to get is a throwback to when I was like a kid. One of the first consoles I have ever, ever owned in my lifetime the Dreamcast, y'all. Some of y'all are too young to recognize this controller. You haven't seen a controller with one analog stick in your entire life. That's what this Dreamcast is. Look at the, look at this. You see it says NBA 2K inside the controller? Technically, that's not really inside the controller. This is like the memory card on it. But regardless, I had to buy this. I had to buy an original Xbox, an Xbox 360. Y yeah. And it, it, a lot of funds, a lot of time. But I'm finally here to, to rebuild. I don't know what... 2k is going to be like in the year 2000 but it is the first game we are playing the first game of Allen Iris to be in the cover athlete if you did not know I think he had four to five years oh I can check the first five years this is Allen Iverson the, the greatest bro the one of the most influential players ever so before we actually get into it be sure to leave a like on the video as I mentioned it took it's, it's gonna take me a long time to record this video it took me a long time to prep the video so I would love to see a bunch of y'all leave likes even if you're a guy that normally doesn't leave likes I'm reminding you right now please leave a like and if you're new around here subscribe we drop 2k related content almost daily and this is about to be like the longest video on the channel so get some popcorn do whatever you got to do uh, it's, it's time. It's time to transition to the Dreamcast. And I mean, look at the graphics. I mean, Indiana's killing Utah in this. Oh my God. Big time shot from Jeff Hornacek. It's kind of weird because they don't look like them real cells, but then they also do look like them real cells. I don't really know. I don't really know. But we are here to finally get into the rebuild. Again, we are rebuilding the worst team in every single 2K. So I'm asking you right now to give a, a brother a little bit of room. It's going to be a lot more difficult to rebuild in 2K, just 2K. Again, this is not 2K1, 2K2, just 2K than it is in 2K20. So I don't really know what to expect. First thing I realized, there's no like franchise mode, so we only got a season, which is fine because all of these are going to be one-year challenges. If I, if I succeed, so be it. If I fail, we just move on to the next. And you see, they only have a couple options for, it's not even a franchise mode. It's just one season, which is cool because we're only doing one-year challenges. You can either change the length of the season. You can change the quarters, which I put on 12, because I don't know if this had to do with simulation or yada, yada. You can throw a fantasy draft or a trade that line. I'm keeping that on. Now, a few things I got to say before we, like, first of all, the team that we are using in today's video, this part of the video, looks like it's going to be the Clippers 55 overall team. That's actually dreadful. I'm setting myself up for failure, by the way, by picking the worst team every single year. Except for in the case that let's say we load up 2K1, the Clippers are still the worst team in basketball. I am not going to use that team. I want to keep it diversified. So we will never rebuild the same team in back-to-back -back years so we can get different experiences. You feel me? We're in the year 2000. Keep that in mind. This is like a little trivia thing. And I love trivia. So let's see how many of these players I can name. I think this is Trent Hus Trenton Hustle. Trent Hustle Hudson. Could be wrong. No, I'm thinking of Trenton Hassel. Okay, so I catch that L. This is Derek Anderson, Lamar Odom, Maurice Taylor, Michael Alawakandi. Ooh, ooh, I don't remember this guy's name. Eric Murdoch. I'm pretty sure this guy's name is Troy. This guy's name is Eric. He used to play for the Bulls. I'm going to just say Chris Cross. I don't know what this guy's real name was. Brian Skinner. Craig? No, that's not Craig Smith. Charlie Smith? Charlie Smith and Ronald Hill, maybe? I don't know. You tell me how many of those I got right. Um, I don't know. Again, I haven't played this game. At all. So I don't know where's trades. Is it even po did I load this up by this game and it's not even possible for us to rebuild? Let's let's see what's up, bro. Let's see what's up. All right. So the first first thing I noticed is that this team is not terrible. I mean, it's the worst overall team, but like Derek, Derek, Lamar, Mo, and Alawakandi are all solid NBA players. But of course, not good enough to win a championship. So what is the possibility that this game is so old? That trade logic is not a thing. Like, if I wanted to trade for Shaq, could I do that? They say no. What if I gave you this guy?
noted. That's all you got to say. Trade, trade thing don't, I mean, just trade for anybody. What I'm thinking is, listen, if this is bad, that's okay. Because I know once we get to later in these games, I'm going to catch a lot of L's. One year challenges on these old games, I need to take advantage of every, Tim Duncan. They say no, obviously. We'll give you Derek Anderson too. You give us back a player, your worst player. In this case, it is this guy. We got Tim Duncan and Shaq on the same team. <clears throat> Tim Duncan and Shaq. Okay, I'm trading Lamar Odom for uh, the best guard in the league. Whoever, the Allen Iverson, he's literally the cover athlete. They say no. I'll give you Chris Cross. And then you give us back your worst player, who is Rick Mahorn, Allen Iverson, Shaq, Tim Duncan. Okay, so I did a few more trades. Now, let's try to figure out our rotation. Tim Hardaway, Allen Iverson, Tony Kukoc, Tim Duncan, and Shaq. Off the bench, we have Steve Smith, Mike Bibby, Antoine Jameson, Christian Leitner, and D. Brown. Traded for Sam Perkins. Part of me wants to trade Tony Kukoc for somebody that's a little bit better than the 84. So I'm going to go out there and see if there is a higher than 84 type guy. Grant Hill? They're going to say no to that, of course. But what if I gave you... I just got Sam Perkins in the trade, but I'm willing to throw him away if that means I get Grant Hill. Nice. And now we can use Rick Mahorn to get another center. This is this how easy it is for us. Sean Bradley, welcome to the team. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, if we don't end up winning a championship with this roster, then it is fixed. We have 490 overalls and a guy that's close to a 90. You know what? I may f I'm going to flip him for a 90. Why not? Stephon Marbury? Sure. Stephon Marbury is an icon, man, for the hood. He, he brought those cheap shoes to the hood to hoop in. And y'all may laugh at those shoes, but those shoes were for us. You know, so this is our team. 40, I mean, 54 wins is actually bad. 54 wins for this roster is actually bad. I don't even know how we can only win 54 out of 82 with the roster that we put together. So playoffs, we are the four seed. Oh, no, I'm sorry. How do, how do I end up on the Nuggets? No, we are the one seed with 50 wins, 54 wins. So cool. That's a W, man. That's a W. Anything can happen, though. We're going against the Suns in the first round. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. I think we go to the next round, right? Okay, no. It's it's first round back then was best of five. First up round was best of five. So we move on to the second round here. And these are for the rest of the teams. Cool. Second round, y'all. W's. I mean, what do you expect for a team of this caliber? But you never really know. We're going against the Grizzlies in round number two. I couldn't tell you who's on their roster, but at the end of the day, it looking like it's irrelevant. We're going to take, I'm telling y'all, we're going to take all of our W's when they come in, bro. We're going to the conference finals. The Rockets in the conference finals. We win game. Oh my God. Are we going to go perfect? Oh, yes, sir. Come on. Championship, baby. Clippers championship for the first time ever. And it took me to having to go back 20 years to make it a possibility, but we're about to do it. And we're going against the Raptors. I don't know who's on his Raptors team. I don't think it's super relevant because we... Oh, we didn't even sweep. Oh, don't do... I swear to you. We won it. We won it. If it's saving, that means it's over and it looks like we won the championship. I needed this W. We started off 1-0. 1-0. We're about to transition to 2K1. And you know Allen Iverson got a cover of that one as well. My biggest fear is loaded into one of these games and the game doesn't work. That's my biggest fear right now. I've been waiting so long to get these games that if one of them is broken, my heart is going to be broken. Bro, the Wizards have a 60 overall. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's see if the trades are the same as last year. Because if so, you know, W's. Wait. Oh, there's picks. There's picks in this year. All right. We can add picks. W. W, W, W. All right. So let's figure out. First of all, let me introduce y'all to the roster. I'm sorry. Rod Strickland, Mitch Richmond, M. Smith. Jawan Howard, Jay White, Rip Hamilton, Young Rip Hamilton, L Prophet. I don't know many of these names. F Lopez, G King. Can I trade for 99 overall, man? Kevin Garnett. I will give you Jawan Howard. I will give you F Lopez because I don't know who the F Lopez is. And I'll give you a pick. They say no. How about this pick? They also say no. What if I give you, we talking about the highest overall player in the game here. I'll give you Rip Hamilton as well. They will have too many players, so you give us back your worst player. A. Patterson. Kevin Garnett. Welcome to the team. Wow, we just traded for the highest overall player in the entire game. 
I mean, can I snag Penny Hardaway? They have a counter offer. They want Jay White, who's a center. I don't know much about Jay White, but I'm getting a 90 overall Penny Hardaway. That's a deal to me. Glenn Robinson, they say no. What if I gave you a second round pick? They say yes. All right. So we're starting to make progress. It's definitely harder to make trades on this game than the last one. Um, again, I'm cutting all the failed trades. So we have a three-headed monster here. Now we has got to fill out the rest of the rotation and the roster with playable players. And it's going to be harder to do that than last year. Because last year I was turning 60 overalls to 75 overalls. You can't do that this year. Patrick Ewan? Yes, sir. Patrick Ewan. Oh, my God. We got a center too, y'all. We got a center in Patrick Ewan. Um, he's, this is old Patrick Ewan. We got him from the Sonics. So he's, you know, he's a little past his prime. But nonetheless, it's still Patrick Ewan. Our star, we don't have a point guard. That's something we're going to have to fix right now. But for the most part, the team is looking magnificent. The start of five, at least, looking magnificent. Sure. Mookie Blaylock, welcome to the team. We got a starting point guard. And I was looking at it, and one of them centers ain't too bad, bro. 70 overall center on this team would actually be a rotational player. Let's see. Seems like the first week of the season, we're three and one, seven and one. Oh, yes, sir. I don't even know if I need to make more trades. They want to give us pop out for Sam Mitchell. I'm good. Our team is doing great. I don't want to I don't want to mess anything up. Great is an overstatement. The only problem with this this game is you can't adjust minutes. Um oh. Okay. What happened to Mookie? Why why was he not starting anymore? And and these these overalls are dynamic. Glenn Robinson was an 80 something when I traded for him. Penny Hardaway was a 90 when I traded for him. Where the heck is Patrick Ewan, he's inactive. Who is inactive in my boy Patrick Ewan? It's literally, pa it's Patrick Ewan. You gonna send him to the practice squad? Like, that's what we were doing here? Nice job making the playoffs. Now, let's see how far he can go. Yeah, let's see how far we can go. Our schedule has us going against the Nets in the first round. Remember, it's only a round of five. So, we win game one. We win game two. We win game three. And we're going to the next round of the playoffs. Beautiful thing there. Beautiful thing. To go against the Pacers, Riggy Miller and them. Game one is a loss. Game two is a win. Three. Okay. Okay. Two, two. Big game here, guys. Do not blow. They blew game five and game seven. I, there's no sim cast or nothing. So we got to just sit here and hope. Eliminate it. We got to eliminate it. Tragic. So those were the two games on the Sega Dreamcast. It was a W. I mean, we got one win. And one close, I mean, we're in game seven to go to the conference finals. So we were almost there. Now moving over to the Xbox of 2K2. Y'all, I I got some terrible news. The Xbox doesn't work. It doesn't read. The, the, the reader is wrong. It, it's, it's broken. It's broken. I waited two weeks to get a broken console. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I just want to sit here and record. Now, unfortunately, the next four games are on the original Xbox. So what I'm going to have to do is to call around to local gaming stores. It's going to be hard and, and try to see if somebody has an original Xbox for sale that I can snag ASAP. But in the meantime, I guess I'm personally transitioning to the 360. But through the power of editing, you won't even know that the timetable is all mixed up. I know things are crazy. All right, y'all. So I went out and bought an entirely new Xbox original, whatever the heck you want to call it for this video so that's two i had to purchase two now if this one go out too then it, hey video ends it's over it's over so the worst team in the year 2k2 is what we're playing right now so far it looks like the bulls at the over oh that's offense i'm sorry but it's still the overall 64 so i will be rebuilding my chicago bulls perfect you know i was ready for it i was ready for it let's get it greg anthony ron mercer eddie robinson charles oakley brad miller young ron artest michael pfizer absolute bust fred hoiberg eddie curry jamal crawford uh kevin Ali, tyson chandler y'all expect me to get any form of bulls names wrong no it's actually funny that eddie robinson's overall is so high 85 overall bro i'm gonna tell you right now without you looking up his stats he was a i don't want to say scrub but he wasn't very good so the fact that they got him at this high overall is actually surprising to me eddie curry you give us back your worst player who's this guy and we have a deal. I don't I, I don't know what's going on, but the fact that we just got Tracy McGrady to come to Chicago. We're talking about prime Tracy McGrady. 95 overall Tracy McGrady. And that allows Ron Artest to slide into that starting lineup. That's a W. We traded away uh, Eddie Robinson. Honestly, 
Eddie Robinson was really not good. So the fact that they had him at an 85 overall is crazy to me. So I'm glad to get him out of here. Let's figure out what we do next. We gave up a pick already. And those picks seem to be kind of valuable. Can I snag a better point guard? Can you give us back your worst player? The guy just added to the team uh, might get traded here. And he does. We bring in Jamal Tinsley. Uh, Jamal Tinsley was a fun player to watch back in the day. He's never really amazing. But one thing I'm learning about 2K2 that's different than the last two is it's actually difficult. There's trade logic. So it's actually going to be hard to continue to upgrade these players. I'm going to do, do my best, of course. Give us back a player. In this case, is going to be Jay Smith. This trade has invalidated one or more of the other trades or signings. It is, un it is accepted. So we got Vladi Divac into the team as well. Starter 5 is looking all right. The bench is looking dreadful, looking terrible. Young Jamal Crawford, young Tyson Chandler that I just realized classified as a small forward. Do you know how tall Tyson Chandler is? You're trying to tell me he's a small forward. Counter offer for Antoine Jameson. Michael Pfizer and two seconds for Antoine Jameson with Ron Artest. I'll do that deal. That's the first counter offer we got in this video, but we bring in another guy that's just really, really good. Where's my boy at? Um, we need to put him from to the activated roster and not a reserve anymore. So you can go to the bench in Howard as we bring in a bowler and Antoine Jameson. Cool. So we have two all-star caliber players. Vladi Divac is up there too. Uh, Charles Oakley is the enforcer. Ain't nothing easy going on in this Bulls locker room, in this Bulls court. And Jamal Tinsley, the playmaker, the speedster out there. Go a week into the season. We are 2-1. and one. Another week into it. 5-1. and Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My boys might be nice. And we're going against the Hawks in the first round. And I hit play. Not, not what I wanted to do. It's weird from going from one game Kantu to another when the controllers are dramatically different. Think about that. Other game didn't have a second analog. And here I am playing a game with uh, multiple analogs. And it's just weird. All right. You know what else is weird? Losing in the first round. Did we lose in the first round? Yep, we lost in the first round. 3-1. So far, we are, what, 1-2 and two on our rebuilding challenges. As we transition to 2K3, I got to remind you to leave a like on the video. If you got to this point, you have to be enjoying it, right? I mean, I don't know how long we've been recording or how long this video is at the moment. But it's been a minute. So leave a like. And the interface is completely different. This is a huge update, man. This actually is so clean. The other ones had us using the analog sticks to try to go up. This is as clean as it gets. We're going to game modes, not the streets, but we're going to franchise. Yes, sir. Um, don't need no preseason games. I'm going to keep it the best of five round one because that's how it, what it was like back then. What team will be the worst in the league? Now, I can't see overall here, but I can see your record from last year. The Bulls won 21, but we can't go back to the Bulls. 23 is the lowest so far with the Grizzlies. Will it be the Grizzlies in their 23-win team? It might be the Grizzlies, y'all. Sorry, it's the Warriors. The Warriors with 21 wins is the team we're playing with in today's episode or this version. Oh, man. I got an office? I really got an office. Wow. Nice. Um, what's, our, what's our team looking like? For you, Twan Jameson, who just traded for Mike Dunleavy, Jason Richardson, uh, no chill Gill, year two, so he's not an all-star yet, which is trash, because that means he's not an all-star yet, and that don't help us. Um, Danny Fortson, Eric Dampier, Troy Murphy, Bob Sura. Okay, all right, all right. The team is not good. I mean, you saw, they won 21 games. So how do we turn that not good 21 games team into a uh, championship caliber team? And it is because Antoine Jameson is making 130 that 130k whatever that means in this game i don't know how what that equates to in real life money but i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can trade him away i'm gonna see if i can trade him away he helped us get out get eliminated in the first round uh in the last portion of the video so you know nobody's safe i have picks oh only get one pick why did we go backwards yo in the previous games we had two two years worth of picks now we only got one i mean okay don't we got uh, i mean i'll take that we got Prime Paul Pierce on the team. But that's like, come on, bro. How you gonna take a step back? The picks were actually helping us a lot. And now they, they won't because we don't have any more. It's just that, that simple. But we got Paul Pierce. All right. All right. There it is. We uh we just put off a trade. You know? We traded for a guy on a one-year contract that's aging. He's still an amazing point guard, I'm hoping. Wait, how do I look at transactions? I, I guess I can't. Team rosters. Who did we just pick up? It was the one, the only John Stockton. <laughs> You're number 19, bro. 
Um, but that's the point we're at in the video. I don't know the value of the younger guys just yet. I've been, I've been basically what I've been doing is I'll put together a package and I'll offer that package to every other team. Boom. Who use your best player? Who's your top three players? Can I get that? Can I get that? Can I get that? And just so happened to Jazz accept it. And we got a 19 year pro John Stockton on the team. I right, traded for PJ Brown. He'll be the power forward that we're looking for. And that's going to be it. I think, I think that can I, can, can I get out of this <laughs> interface? Uh, I think that's the last trade we're going to do. We're going to put PJ Brown at the power forward. Again, he ain't that much better than what we had, but he is better than what we had. 49 and 33. Hey, listen, listen, playoff team, playoff team, baby. Uh, we win game one. What the heck was that? We lose game two. Nightly wrap up. Oh, I guess it shows you all the scores and stuff. If you care, we don't. We're up 2-1. I don't remember if this is still best of five. It is. We have advanced to the second round. Can I get some W's in, in, the, in, the, in the comment section? Second round, we're going against the Sacramento Kings, who we take game one of. Game two, we lose, and Cedric Henderson has the flu. He ain't Michael Jordan, so we're going to sit one game out. And we lose by 10. Oh, man. 2-2, two -two, though. 2-2. Two -two. Hey, these are some low-scoring games. You know what I'm saying? Marcus can be severe ankle sprain. Now, that's a, that's a hit to the gut. That's our center right there. That's our center, and we lose. Nice. We need to get back on track, man. We are we are slowly losing it. But this game set me up for failure by only giving me one first round pick. That that's what I'm saying. It's not my fault. It's the it's the game's fault. Next, when we are transitioned fully to the ESPN basketball name, but you see in the little corner, it is 2K4. Allen Iverson, fourth, fifth. I'm sorry, this is the fifth straight year of being the cover athlete. But I think this is the last year because 2K5 has been wallet. So. Shout out to Allen Iverson being so much of an icon that for five straight basketball games, he was on the cover. Oh, man. We in a sports center set? Oh, that's a W. All right. The Utah Jazz. John Stockton must have retired. 60? Nobody's beating 60 overall, right? Yeah, nobody's beating 60 overall. That's an L. That is a, a 92. The Lakers were just so dominant. Offense and defense is a 99. But the overall is a 92. It doesn't make sense. Who's on the team? Carlos Arroyo. Matt Harpringer. AK-47. Young AK-47. Not great yet. Keon Clark. Greg Ostertag. Deshaun Stevenson. Uh, Scott Pag Paget. Mark Jackson. <laughs> oh, my God. I I'm so... Why did I tell myself to pick the worst team? There's no way. I'm telling y'all right now. There's no way I turn this team to a championship team. And we only get one pick. Oh, man. They are really doing that to us, huh? Um, Team interest says 100%. And we got the Mamba. Kobe, I'm sorry I pulled you away from a team that was a 99 overall. I'm sorry. But we need help here in Utah. We need help here in Utah, Kobe. Now, the real problem with that, that trade is... We don't have any more picks. And I really think the reason they accepted that trade because is because of our pick. We might be able to trade for Paige Stoyakovic here. They need to take, they need to keep 12 people on the roster. Give us back Gerald Wallace. Can I snag a pick? Ooh! Oh, AK-47 just got us Paja and a pick. It might not be that bad now. Rip Hamilton and Metal, of course, coming to the team. Th there's just not there's nothing there. I, I there's no point guards. Kobe's running point guard. All right? I said what I said. Kobe is running point guard. He's playing with Rip Hamilton, Paige Stoyakovich. And we're going to have Meta Okor as our center. All right, this is Sim. Kobe, please take us to the promised land. I'm asking a lot for you, but you the Mamba and one of the greatest to ever do it. So if anybody could do it, I believe it's you. First of all, overall is a 73. It started off as a 60. So we did get the team a little bit better. One more of those things. Yes, we out of the first round to go against the one seed. I'm guessing. I'm just going to guess it's going to be the one seed. I mean, I don't got no insider. The Mavericks, was the Mavericks the one seed? They were. They barely got out of the first round, though. So they might be vulnerable. They might be vulnerable right now, y'all. We, we might be able to pull this off. We lose game one. We, we, lose, <laughs> we lose game two. Uh-oh. Okay, there it is. Yeah. The, you know, the good old classic gentleman sweep. Four, which means we've played five games, we have one championship. So, y'all... You know, like that one year the Bobcats came into the NBA? That's this year. So we're literally working with an expansion team. Which means that there's all trash. 
It's going to be all trash. And we got to turn them into a championship team. I mean, we'd be doing some big things if we can do it. But, I mean, the likelihood? Not high. I don't know who L. Harris is. I st even seen your picture. I still don't know who you are. I know Steve Smith, though. You know, I know John Barry. <laughs> I know Donald Glover. I don't know who this is. Danny Glover? Do Donald? I don't know who the heck that is. So, y'all, here's our team. Um... Wow, wow, wow. Uh, this guy looks like he's got a master plan. And if that's the case, he's ahead of us because I don't know what the heck I'm about to do to make this team better. We just traded for Carmelo Anthony and Andre Miller. Wow. Okay. Yes. Count, count me in. Count me in. I'm all in on this team, you know? The rest of the team is going to be god-awful doo-doo at the moment at least, you know? But we got we got some players. We got an 81 overall and the 87 overall Carmelo. Eric Dampier is on our team now uh, to run the center position. That was the best we can gauge an 80 overall center. Doug Christie's coming to the team. I don't know how old he is at this point in his career, but he's, he's looking for a place to hoop. He's here 13, All right, So he is older, uh, but he need a place to hoop, and we got a place to hoop right here. We're about to go the entire Xbox original without getting the championship. Um, Melo's good, doing good things, you know. Just, it's just, it's hard out here, man. Wow, they have like cover athletes for like ESPN Magazine, MVP KG. Looks terrible. But for that time, it was probably real cool. Luke Jackson. Okay. Um, Maurice Daniels, KG Defense Player of the Year, Chris Webber, most improved. Cool. Uh, we made the playoffs, though. We were expansion team. We made the playoffs. So, I mean, take the mini Ws. Our starting center's out. And so are we. I just went the entire Xbox. And got zero championships. What was that, four years? 2K. I, listen. I got no excuses. It's just tough. 2K6, man. Let's get into it. I remember this game very vividly. I don't, I think that I recently did a video on this maybe a year or so ago. So I'm kind of familiar with things, but the first thing we have to do is figure out what team we're using, and the Portland Trailblazers might be it. 59 overall. So let's get into it. Portland Trailblazers, they have Joel Prisbilla. Oh, he's not their best player. Woo! They were going by salary? Or years remaining? Going? Why would that be the thing? So we do have Zach Randolph. We have Theo Ratliff. Joel Prisbilla, Darius Miller, Juan Dixon, Sebastian Telfair, young Sebastian Telfair, right out of high school Sebastian Telfair, Victor, Ruben Patterson. Okay, yes, this I can understand why this team is so bad. Steve Blake is here, though. Steve Blake is here, so we got good things coming. Ray Allen's on the team. Nice. Um, Cool. We'll take that. I mean, the trade, it's like... What is it called? Interesting. Wasn't even filled all the way up. They were just like, sure, we'll do it. So Theo Ratliff and Latrell Sprewell traded for Ray Allen. Again, Latrell Sprewell is just somebody who picked up out of free agency anyway, so he didn't mean nothing to the roster. I'm trying to trade for Samuel Dellenbear and get a first round pick from him, but they're saying no. Can I steal one of the seconds there? I can. Okay, so Samuel Dellenbear is coming to the team. Um, he's going to be a center, and we didn't need a center, you know, because we are Joel and Prince Biller is pretty good too, but... At this point, I'm trying to think about depth, too, so we have two centers that we can trust. This might be the team we're going into it with, man. Bobby Jackson, Ray Allen, Corey Maggette, Zach Randolph, and Samuel Dallenberg. We weren't able to get multiple, multiple, like, superstar-type players, but I think we put together a good enough roster where um, we can make some noise. Starting off the season 3-0, and and Glenn Robinson signed somewhere else. That's the only, You know this only went one week into the season because I wanted to try to, to get him. We made the playoffs... And we're going against the Memphis Grizzlies to start off with. Game one is a win. Game two is a loss. Remember, this is the first round, so it's just, it's just about getting these three wins. Game five, a.k.a. game seven, we lost. Oh, wait. We're in 2K6. We're in 2K6. We're in 2K6, y'all. We forced a real game seven. Oh, we lost anyway cool huh you know i thought we did good thought we had a good team all right Portland trailblazers are still really bad but we can't use them so the next team oh the hawks have a 55 overall i don't need to look at the rest of the league 55 overall joe johnson josh Childress. oh my god this team's bad but they got young players 20 year old 21 year old 
I don't know if that's going to matter in 2K. But we, I mean, I should have looked to see if there's any other team out there. Uh, so let me quickly do that because I could have jumped the gun. But I mean, 55 overall team. I mean, I'm looking at it and 55 has to be the worst. We have <laughs> the same couple players. Um, but sure, I'm going to need all of this. Come on. Come on to the team. Not, no, no, not that guy. Glenn Robinson. You know, he could all right, Glenn Robinson, come on, bro. I understand you want your bag and everything, but brother, you just got the you just gotta take what's given. You ain't got a job, bro. Marvin Williams, Speedy Claxton, and Salim Stoudemire getting traded for Paige Stoyakovic. Didn't have to give no picks or nothing. Paige is gonna be one of our guys. 84 overall, playing alongside Joe Johnson. We're gonna have a lot of three-pointers being shot on this team. Zaza in the first can give me Chris Cayman, so I'm gonna do that. Um, is it the best trade? No, but after looking around the league for a long time. I had to do what I had to do. Sam Cassell is going to be the guy we trade for without giving up a pick. He's old, but he's still an 80-plus overall. Um, he's 37, literally old. He like, our whole team is at this point pretty old. But I don't know if that really matters too much. You know, I don't know if that matters too much. We don't have a backup center. We have John Edwards, who is the worst player on the roster. We don't have a backup point guard. The rest of the team is okay. Um, is okay winning a championship? Probably not. But building a team to win a championship, one thing I'm realizing is going to be a lot hard when you started off with the worst team in the league. Well, this kind of sucks. Um, David West. Year four David West is an 83 overall. And they just want Kerry Kittles? Why not? That'll get our, that'll get our team better, right? Yeah, David West was star for us. Why did they offer me that? I don't... I mean, I'm not going to complain. He might be on the last year of his deal. He is. He's on the last year of his deal. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to try to trade players that are under contract for players on last year of the deal. If it's that easy. So I tried to do the method I was telling you. You try to trade for people on one of your contracts. And it just wasn't many of them. So I'm already chalking this up as an L. We may not even make the playoffs. This was one of the harder teams we played with. We're 41 to 41. Um... Oh, we actually did make the playoffs, though. So, Cinderella story, here we come. We're already down. But we win a game. I can't wait till we get to the games where you can edit the rotation and stuff. Because they, be yeah, they be having you run like a 12-man rotation. I don't have 12 people on my roster that I trust. I'm sorry. This is the team we ended up with. We had a lot of 80 overalls, but we didn't have that star. And that was probably the reason why we got eliminated in the first round. Now, it's time for 2K8. My boy Chris Paul was a cover athlete early. I mean, early in his career. And it's our first time playing this one. So, <laughs> let's see if we can redeem ourselves and get a championship. And the Knicks, as a 62 overall team, is the team we're focusing on today. Cool. I don't think we've done New York just yet. So, I mean, here we go. New York Knicks Nation. Let's go, man. You got Zach Randolph, David Lee, Stephon Marbury, Eddie Curry, Jamal Crawford, Q Rich, Nate Robinson. Look at the hairband. It's like lopsided on them. All right. Short King stand up. Dan Duca, uh, Fred Jones, Wilson Chandler, Young Wilson Chandler, Renato Balkman, uh, Jared Jeffries, Malik Rose, Marty Collins, and Jerome James is the team. What is the pick situation? Because y'all know those picks are just as important as anything in these games. We get two. I will take two. I'll take two. Some of the other ones have been won, and it's been a reason we sucked. Okay, part of the reason we suck. They want David Lee, Dan Duca, and Stephon Marbury for Jason Kidd. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. That's a lot. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm sorry. Jason Kidd's. He wages no trade clause. Potentially saving me from making a bad trade. Potentially. Shaq is old. But he's still Big Diesel. That's the deal. Oh, you, you won't. Marty Collins, shooting guard, second year pro at a temple that was undrafted and averaged four points per game. Shaq, welcome to the team. Sure, that's a lot of money to spend on a wait. What happened? A counter offer? Accept the trade. Shaq declined to Nobody wants to play for the Knicks, yo. Nobody wants to play for the Knicks. Everybody that we want to trade for has a no trade clause for some reason. So we found somebody to take on that contract, and that was the Bobcats. I mean, we got Jason Richardson in return, so I guess it's, a, it's an upgrade overall-wise. I think Stefan Marbury was like an 81, and now we up to an 84. Um, and we saved a little bit of money, too, so that's cool. We had to throw them a second-round pick, not a first, so we saved the first, which is dope. Wilson Chandler, first-round pick. Malik Rose for Tayshaun Prince and Rodney Stuckey. 
and it is done. Deal is done. Tayshaw Prince, welcome to the team. Now, that allows us to, to have to trade Q Rich for PG. Or, in their eyes, hold on, do you see what they... Oh, I thought they were trying to run Zach Randolph. They were trying to run Zach Randolph at the small forward. I'm like, bro, cut it out. The captain, Kirk Heinrich. We got him. Okay. Kirk Heinrich going to mess around be our best player. I didn't even realize he was an 85 overall. But Kirk Heinrich is going to be our best player. We threw them that pick. Um, we threw them Q Rich, and we threw them one other player that I do not remember who it was. Overall, wise, I think our team is good. I don't think we're going to have any money still to, br to bring in a free agent to try to make it better. So let me see. This is what our team will look like at the moment. Kirk, Jay Rich, Tayshawn Prince, Zach Randolph, Eddie Curry. Off the bench, we have David Lee. I don't, I don't want the roles in the game. Like, for real, the roles are just makes it so much so stupid. So I'm, <laughs> it just makes it bad at the end of the day. It just makes it bad. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the rotation the way I want it, which is good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to worry about running a 10-man rotation if I don't want to. If I want to run a three-man rotation, I'm going to run a three-man rotation. So we're to a 77 overall team. Our offense is good. Offense is real good. We're better than LeBron's team. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be saying something. I'm going to go to the beginning of February in hopes that uh, that we can win something. I don't, I don't feel very confident in it. Knicks made the playoffs, y'all. I did it. You know, so the first step of getting to a championship is making the playoffs and winning a game. Make it two. No practices. Forget that. <laughs> we, we don't need to practice in New York, baby. We just win games regardless. Come on, let's go up 3-0, please. We up 3-0. Nobody's coming back from that. Even though I think it's happening in this video already. It's not like 2K21, man. When you go up 3-1 in these games, you don't really know if you're going to close it out. But we did. But we did. We're going against the Pistons. Now, the Pistons are a good team around this time of uh, uh, NBA history. So, you know, it's a, it's a good team we're going against. We're up 1-0. Come on, man. Let's get New York a championship, baby. Can you imagine? I need that. 3-0 lead us. We 8-1 in the playoffs so far, y'all. Who are we going against? Oh, it's Boston. Do I need to remind y'all what Boston looks like in these years? Yeah. Yeah. At least only only thing that we happy about, Rondo was young, so we didn't have to worry about young Rondo. But come on, man. 98, 92, 92. And then they also have Grant Hill for some reason. They traded for him halfway through the season. So I mean, we've been dogging. We've been we've been killing these opponents. Let's see if we can keep that up. We got a whole week off before this one. We oh my god, nine and one New York Knicks. 10 and 1 New York Knicks in the playoffs. Oh, okay. You know, you know, all good things come to an end. We, you know, we had a nice little win streak. Come on, man. We had a nice little win streak. Just get one more. One more. Don't let them do this. I know they got the veterans over there. Don't let them do this. Don't let them. Oh, my God, bro. Don't let them do this. What is Hoopcast? What is this? Is this like Simcast? But how fast is it, though? I think this is, this is not fast at all. Simulate to the end of the quarter. Okay, we can go quarter by quarter. We're, we're up. Going into halftime. We're up by two. Going into the third. I'm um, going into the fourth quarter. It's a tight game. So it is like Simcast. This is like a dumbed down version of Simcast, which is fire. It's just kind of moving a little bit too slow for my liking. You know, I wish there was a little thing that I can edit the speed of it. I just go for it. Simulate to the end of the quarter. We lost by one. We lost by one, and we won't go to the finals. Oh, my God. All right, it's a brand new day and a brand new recorded session. We're going into NBA 2K9. This is a game that I ordered a few weeks ago. It said it was supposed to be delivered on October 5th, and it never got here. So I had to go run around the city to try to find a store that had 2K9, but we got it. We finally got it for a whopping four. Whoa. It was $4. Shout out to KG. We're starting to get to the realm of games that I actually remember playing. I mean, I know I did play like 2K6, 2K7, but I don't remember. I don't have any memories of those games. I remember this one. I remember this one. Okay, let's see who the worst team in the league is. We have a 69 overall 76ers, 60 overall Bucks. And, and I don't remember what teams I had last. So Grizzlies are 62 overall. That is not lower than the 60. But it gets worse, but it's also kind of cool, the OKC Thunder. And if I'm not mistaken, 2008-2009 season is the first year they were the OKC Thunder. So they're the lowest overall. There's actually a bunch of teams that you know, like that have low overall. So 
is it possible for us to make something happen? For sure. 20-year-old Kevin Durant, 19-year-old Russell Westbrook, then Earl Watson, who went on to be a coach. Oh, I thought Trey Finder was in this game. Oh, I thought this is the year of Trey Finder, but maybe it's next year. Maybe it's 2K10. But this is our team. We have KD. We have Russell Westbrook. We have Earl, uh, Earl Watson, Chris Wilcox, Nick Hollison, Damian Wilkins. Joe, this team is absolutely terrible. Um, but you knew that. That's why we had to select them. Robert Swift, he had a different career outside of basketball. I would recommend looking up his story. Because uh, after hoops, he kind of got wild with it. Sam Cassell is a free agent at 38 years old. We have Jamal McGlure. I'm going to sign some of these players because I actually saw that we have some money to spend. And you know, you get these players, you throw them in some trades, and then boom. You know, you got a team. I feel good about this one. And maybe it's because it's my first game, my first day back. You know what I'm saying? And I had to sleep on it, and I'm back. And maybe it's just because I, I get, just got a little bit of confidence because it's been a minute. Can I get Joe Johnson? I saw Joe. Is on the team. First round pick Earl Watson and, and Chris Wilcox get us ISO Joe. So we have another wing player to play alongside Kevin Durant. Um, and you know what's so crazy, bro? I feel like there's a world where Kevin Durant gets traded and we're fine. If I'm going to trade this young Kevin Durant, remember, 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 this is a one year challenge. Just one year. And I don't know. I don't know yet how much potential matters in this game eventually potential matters a bunch in 2k20 and 2k21 if you have a guy coming off a rookie of the year he's gonna have four star fast star value but i don't know if that's the case here i'm gonna so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw kevin durant in the trade for some of the best players in the league they say no and I, what about a second instead they say yes so we get gilbert arenas who's like the best point guard in the game basically third he's the third best but it's about like one overall spot so we have gilbert arenas we have joe johnson we have sam Cassell, we have russell westbrook and we just saw how much value kevin durant had for being young i'm sure russell westbrook is going to have a similar situation so we're going to flip him for a center oh man because we need we need like yeah yeah, yeah. we need a center bad pick i can Rasheed Wallace in the pick with Russell Westbrook, Desmond Mason, and, Dom and D Damian Wilkins. Well, yeah, yeah, Damian Wilkins. I'm like, some players ain't seen their name in so long, bro. So right now, our starting lineup will look like, go ahead, just get those minutes out there. Gilbert Arenas, Joe Johnson, Jeff Green, DJ Smith, and Rasheed Wallace at center with, we have old Sam Cassell, who's uh, 38, and we have Jamal McGlure, who I just signed out of free agency, who I'm going to flip in a trade as well. So, you know, I'm feeling good, especially because I believe that Rasheed Wallace, if I make him a power forward, because Rasheed, you know Rasheed Wallace got that torch. Look at the player model back then. Wow. Rasheed Wallace got that torch. You make him a power forward, and he's an 85. I don't remember what he was before that. But that gives us, you know, if we want to start Jamal McGlure, we can. Jeff Green in the pit gets us Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay, last year of his contract, that's been the consensus throughout the entire video. If you can trade for somebody on the last year of the contract, they are less valuable. And look at that, he is an 85 overall. So our starting lineup is stacked. I feel good. Jamal McGlure, I still have some seconds, so maybe I can flip him and get a better center potentially. But I feel good. Can Meta Okor be our guy? He can be. All right, so Meta Okor is an upgrade at center. Um, it's not a crazy upgrade. But it is an upgrade, and I'm actually going to try the, the thing. You know, I'm going to try to think. I'm going to take the minutes away from these players. Wait, what What am I doing? How do I do it? I don't even know how to do it. How do I, how do I, take, how do I take minutes away? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to take the minutes away from everybody and just run a five-man. Uh, cheating the system just a little bit, but I think it's going to work at the end of the day. Uh, unless it doesn't, and we start losing games, then I'll make the rotation deeper. But Gilbert Arenas, Joe Johnson, Rudy Gay, Sheed and Metal Core 80 plus overall started five. How many times have we been able to do that in today's video? Not many. So the fact that we got this done is a W. I felt good about this one too. I thought we, I thought we put together a good team. Defensive first team, All NBA first team, Defensive Player of the Year, and we didn't make the playoffs. Rasheed Wallace won Defensive Player of the Year. We didn't even make the playoffs. Juan Dixon got signed out of free agency and won Most Improved. Joe Johnson made all NBA first team averaging 27, 9, and 5. And we still didn't have enough to make the playoffs. That's that's kind of wild. That's that's very wild. 
but I think that's a first. I think we're 11 games in, 10 games in, and we've never missed the playoffs. I think, I don't know. Things are rubbing together in my brain. 2K10, man. Here we go. Kobe on the cover and everything. I literally just got goosebumps. I, I, I can't even explain it. So let's see what the worst team in the league is. Obviously not the Lakers. 66 overall Kings might be it. It might be a 66 over. Oh, the Bucks are close. But it might be the 66 overall Kings. Yikes. Yep. All right. Let's see what I if I can do something that no other GM in the last 15 years has been able to do, and that's bring them to a, a playoffs for one, and then get them to the championship is a whole new another whole new another uh, thing. On the team, we're going to see. <laughs> yep. 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 There's no way. This is the first time I'm. Hello. Do we? This is the first time I'm ever going into a video or a game, and I'm saying to myself. There's no way. Look at this roster. 77 overalls. Our best player, Kevin Moore. Tyreek Evans. Andreas Nocioni. Bro, this team is garbage. They want me to turn it into a championship team? You, I, I, won't, I, don't, I won't even feel bad. I won't even feel bad. My goal at the... Ooh, AI? Do we got money to bring in AI? Oops. Yes, we do. All right, cool. <laughs> Ws. At this point, for this specific 2K... With this specific team, my goal is to get them into the playoffs, bro. If I get them into the playoffs, I'm happy. And this is the interface that we still know and love, man. Of course, there's been tweaks here and there, but this is like the genesis of all of that stuff. So my one hope is that players like Tyreek Evans, who went on to, you know, do big things his rookie season, would be valuable. He's only 71 overall because these are the rosters before the season because obviously Xbox and all of this stuff is down. Kevin Garnett, welcome to the team. Okay. All right, so we got KG. We got KG. You know what I'm saying? He uh, he beat up on us a little early in this video, and now we got him on the team. Chauncey Billups? No. What if I gave you a second for Chauncey? No. What if I gave you two of my seconds for Chauncey? No. What if I gave you a first for Chauncey? You got a deal. Chauncey Billups is the point guard of the now. Can't say of the future because he's already 33. But he's an 85 overall, and he's playing alongside Kevin Garnett, so that's cool. All right, we got a trade. We got two centers now. Let me show you which centers we got. Go to the rotational minutes or uh, uh, menu. We got Marcus Camby and DeAndre Jordan, but it's like, you know, DeAndre Jordan's sophomore season where he didn't do anything last year. So it's not even a good version of DeAndre Jordan. But we do have Marcus Camby, who's going to run center for us. Oh, a first-round pick. Oh, a first-round pick. A first-round pick. The Bulls just keep giving me assets. All right, okay. Could that first-round pick turn into something? Oh, thank you. Thank you to the Bulls. They saw me in and I needed help. And just them being the great people that they are, they, they threw me a lob. Now I got to throw it down. <laughs> All right, the best I could do was trading for J.R. Smith. <laughs> We're down bad, y'all. We're down bad. All right? J.R. Smith, welcome to the team. He's only a 72, y'all. He's only a 72. So, you know, that's the best we could do. <laughs> That's the best we could do with what we were given. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with nobody else getting minutes. And our starting five, now with J.R. Smith, who can get us some buckets, be in the team. Okay, y'all. Uh, we have three All-Stars this season, and we're 38 and 14. So, <laughs> boys, uh, we are third in the PAL rankings. We improved our record by 25 wins already. I'm not getting I'm getting not getting my hopes up because this this game is so weird. But this is one of the better teams we've built. We're about to go into it as one of the top seeds. That has not happened often. I feel like I'm a 4-5 seed every single year. Don't play nobody but your starters. Game one is yo, I might do this for every single game. If we win a championship and it doesn't matter, fatigue doesn't matter in these early games, say less. Say less. Championship after championship. But let's get this one first. We're going against the Lakers in the second round. Going against the Lakers is never a good thing. Um, in the playoffs, as you can see, Kobe and them win a game. Win the first game. They win the second game. Come on, dog. Cool, bro. Why you got to do You know I'm doing talents, bro. Steph Curry done made it to the conference finals. <sighs> Bro, I'm so mad, man. See, this is why I don't get my hopes up for anything anymore. Best team in the league. Best team in the conference, at least. 
Rondo wins Finals MVP. Best team in the conference, right? By far. By far the best team in the conference. Can't even get to the conference finals. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Um, 2K11 is next. Now we're going to a game that a lot of people see as the GOAT of all GOATs when it comes to 2K. The reason why this game has a special place in my heart is because this is the first 2K that I uploaded a YouTube video on. It wasn't my league, it wasn't rebuilding, it was my career related stuff. But this is the first game, this is the game that got me into YouTube, y'all. So it got a special place in my heart. And hopefully, we can get some redemption and win a championship. Because it's been a minute. It's actually been a very long time. Wow, it's actually been like a really, really long time. And based on it all, this is the worst team in the game. Barbosa, Bargnani, and Jose Calderon. Oh my god. Like, like, wh why am I doing this to myself? Why am I doing this to myself where I have to rebuild the teams of this caliber? I should have done it where I randomly select a team or I rebuild a fantasy draft team. I feel like that would have been a lot better. But no, Kenny want to be the best GM ever and try to take on... We have three players on the team over 70 overall. We got a young DeMar DeRozan. That's kind of cool. But the rest of the team is Bonds. This guy looks scary. But the rest of the team is Bonds. And you know what? At this point, I'm starting to get to it when I'm just like, man, let's just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to sign Allen Iverson with the mid-level exception and hopes that he helps us some way. Trey Finder's in the game for the first year. Trey Value is in the game for the first year. Oh. All right. Okay, he's got a little bit more interesting right now. Last year, Gerald Green was an all-star, so I'm accepting this trade. Yes, I understand that in real life, he was only a one-time all-star. 2K don't know that, though. 2K could have predicted the future, so they think Gerald Green is going to be a dog. Steve Nash is 36, y'all. He's 36. All right, I'm trading for Steve Nash. He's 36, but he's still at 85 overall. You know, that's better than anything we have on this team. So I'll make that work. I'll make that work. Um, so right now, our two best players would be Steve Nash and uh, Gerald Wallace. I remember Hito Terkelu signing this contract, and, uh, you know, he just took the money. He didn't even really want to hoop no more. He just took the money to be in, in Canada. David Lee? Sure. I'm going to try the good old strategy of running a five-man rotation again. It didn't work last year, but it might work. I don't know why I would try it this year. Uh, we got three 80-plus overalls, right? We need a shooting guard in the center. Marcus Canby? Sure. You're 36. We're going to have the oldest team in the league running the five-man five -man rotation. These old guys... Are gonna be losing it on the court. There's another super old point guard that I really like. Yeah, we're gonna run that five man. There's KG who's 34. Can't do that trade. And Von Wa man, real Celtics fans know the name Von Wafer. I'll tell you that much. If, if you a Celtics fan, and you don't know the name Von Wafer, then I got some some news for you. Either either you're not a real Celtics fan or you're just super young. It's one or the other. So we're gonna get Chris Douglas Roberts. My only memory of Chris Douglas Roberts as a basketball player was the fact that he Went to a media day one time with these shortest shorts in the world. You know how now NBA players, you know, some of them rock short shorts and it's fine. He had like the shortest pair of shorts I've ever seen in a media day. And he wore some goggles and a headband. So that's that's my only memory of Chris Douglas Roberts. I don't even remember what he did well back then. Uh, he's not in the league anymore. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. All right, let's see how this goes. Steve Nash averaged 27 and 10. You know... They said he didn't score enough to win his MVPs. Now look at him at 37. It's also because he played every minute of every game for me too. Same thing with Gerald Wallace. There's a reason he's up here and it's because he played every single minute of every single game for me. Uh, so shout out to them for, you know, just doing what they do. Just doing what they do. Okay, so we were the two seed, y'all. And this two seed has to go against the Atlanta Hawks, who I don't know is on their team. But let's see how this goes. We lose game one. Come back game two. We lose game three. We're down 3-1. And we got eliminated in the first round. Honestly, honestly, we can't get out. We can't even get to the conference finals at this point. And then everybody on our team is old. Well, good thing that we don't have to rebuild this team a second time because we're moving on to 2K12. Now, 2K12 has a special place in my heart because this is actually the first game that I uploaded my league content, association content. So, you know, this might be the, the turning point. We're not playing with the Bobcats. They're 29th, the 30th team. And the NBA is going to be, no, 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 K-12, 
Kevin Love, Michael Beasley, Martel Webster, Wesley Johnson, and oh my god, bro. This is a yes, yeah, yeah. Minnesota Timberwolves, sure. All right, let's get it. I mean, we got some good tricky Rubio trade value is actually insane. Okay, all right. And Trey Finder might be doo-doo. Yeah, Trey Finder's kind of doo-doo. I see like Monte Ellis, that's cool. But with this type of value and Ricky Rubio, I'm sure I could get better if I drew up my own trade. So let's try to figure that out. Propose my own trade, dealing with Ricky Rubio's huge, huge, huge trade value, okay? Maybe it's not gonna be as bad as I thought. So this game is different than the others because you saw the pick have half star value. Yikes, yikes. That puts us in a very tough situation. These games were not meant to be one year rebuild games. That's just a fact. Can we can we snag Rondo? They say no, but what if I give you that pick that's worth nothing? They also say no. These games are not built to be one year rebuilding challenges, y'all. It's just a it's just a fact. Right now Ronnie and them they cater to us rebuilders by making it easy. Cuz right now this stuff is not easy. Zach Randolph <laughs> I just traded for Zach Randolph. Um, you know, Monte Ellis, welcome to the team. Um, I'm gonna run like Zebo at center. I think that's I think that's the goal. Zebo at center, and then that allows us to still have Kevin Love. But then again, Kevin Love's only 81 overall. Make the playoffs. Wow, the 43 and whatever team made the playoffs. LeBron, we traded Ricky Rubio. He only averaged four points per game, so it's not like he did anything. Lamar Odom, Josh Smith. And then Darrell Arthur. Cool. Eric Spolster again. What team are we? I forget. We're the Minnesota Timberwolves. Zach Randolph. Oh, he averaged uh, 40 minutes a game. You know, just Zach Randolph type things. Exactly why we traded for him. Kevin Love. Averaged 38 minutes a game. Exactly why we traded for him. Oh, well, we kept him. Just do stuff like that, you know? Oh, yeah. This is a year that they didn't have a rookies. Wow. Look at all these auto-generated guys that didn't do anything. So, no wonder Ricky Rubio won Rookie of the Year. He, he had no competition. So we end up 7th seed to go against Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili and them. So I might as well start loading up 2K13 because 2K12 is chalked. I, pro I promise you it's going to get better, bro. I promise you. 2K13's worst team is the Orlando Magic. This is a good game because this is when they incorporated badges. This is when they incorporated badges, y'all. So, for example, our best player is Aaron Aflalo. You know, he's corner specialist, and he's got scrapper. Wins, loose balls, box out, rebound, and battles. He does all of it. Um, so this is really cool to finally get to that point. Nobody on our team has over two badges, so that lets you know that our team is bad. But if you did not know, you can only get five badges. For example, here's our boy Kobe, rest in peace to the Mamba. Um, he only had five badges, so 2K had to really pick the badges that mattered the most for him. Shot creator, does Kobe. Dead at, does Kobe. Closer, does Kobe. Heat retention, Duh, it's Kobe and finisher. So yeah, this is a cool game. Um, it's also the game where I remember doing the VC glitch a bunch to open up packs. So, <laughs> like I said, some of these games are gonna have good memories associated with it. This is one of them. We don't have money, which is weird because our team is doo doo. So where's all of our money wrapped into with this roster? And let's try to get rid of that. I don't know how 2K13 is gonna play when it comes to this trade stuff. Okay, other than this trade, I feel like I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna draw my own for the rest of this year, or I'm gonna try to at least. Uh, because the trade fine is just kind of trash, bro. It's just actually really, really bad. So even though we don't have many players with like high value, um, I feel like we can put together something. Gustavo Ion, bro. I have not heard that name in so long. Gustavo Ion. Wow. Look how look how young Vucevic was. This is uh, after the Philly trade. Yeah. Man, he wasn't anything back then. I wish I had him now. At least I have more trade value. All right. I traded for Andrew Bynum. Uh, I traded my two best players, Nicholas Batum, who we just got in the trade, and then also Aaron Aflalo. But we needed an all-star caliber player, and we have that in, in Bynum now. I don't know what we do now because we don't have any any firsts. Um, we have a couple seconds, and maybe those seconds help us get somebody better than Jameer Nelson at point guard. I don't really know. But it's, it's, it is so rough out here, bro. Look at the trade find. You tell me what I'm supposed to do with this trade find yourself, huh? I also got to play... 20 games in one video, tw 21 games in one video. So I can't spend an hour doing a rebuild like I normally would do. So I just gotta, I don't know, I gotta go out here and see what's up. I'm trading, <laughs> I'm trading for Mo Williams, bro. I, you know, small upgrade 
from a 75 overall point guard to a 78 overall point guard. Those are the type of jumps we're looking for at this point in our, our GMing life. Like, Terrence, Terrence Williams, if I can bring him to the team, he's going to be our starting small forward this season. That That's the way it's going. Look at that. He's killing Mo Harkless. Mo Harkless is 19, though, but he's 19 with no trade value. So, like, what's the point of being 19 if you're not going to have no trade value? <laughs> like, ain't that the only reason to be young is to have trade value? And he got none. He's got zero zilch. D he's not doing nothing for the squad. I'm trading buying him for LaMarcus. I needed somebody that can score the ball a little bit more, and LaMarcus is a bucket. So that's th that was the reasoning behind that. What about an upgrade at center? One overall spot. Is that worth it? Probably not. I think I'm fine. Yep, I am fine. Okay. Can we make the playoffs? All right, y'all. Now it's time for 2K14. Now, 2K14 released on normal gen, which is Xbox 360, then also released on Xbox One. I cannot find the Xbox One version of the game, so I'm on 360 for the last game. And honestly, I think I've struck out on all of the 360 games, so hopefully... The last one is the charm, and we can put together a championship roster. And then I honestly do feel that once we get to next gen, I'm going to be able to just do what I do. You know, we're going to see a hot streak. The worst team we're, we have today, worse in every category, is Utah Jazz. Derek Favors, Trey Burke, and Alec Burks are the best players on this team. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon, I'm telling y'all, as soon as they allow us to have multiple draft picks, more, more than two draft picks, it's over with. It's over. I'm telling you, it, it, it will be over. Now, does this game allow you to have multiple draft picks over two? Please do. Please. Oh, Trey Burke got some good value. Only two. Then that means 2K15 will 100% allow us to, like, trade three years down the line, four years down the line draft picks. And that's that's what we're waiting for. Because once we're able to do that, it's, it's really over. I'm getting my championships. And then I'm, it's basically going to be like stat pad because I haven't been able to build championship teams. Hold on. Did you decline me, Steven Jackson? No, 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 no. Did you climb me, decline me again? No, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. Pretty good. I'm going to hopefully get Rudy Gay here. Uh, picks are more than half star value. And we throw Derek Favors and uh, RJ, Richard Jefferson, and we got a deal. Rudy Gay is on the team now. Josh Smith can run power four for us because we don't need a small four. We have we have a small four to Rudy Gay. But Josh Smith ended up being on like all defensive teams and things like that. So I think I got to go Josh Smith and just run him at the four. Big Wesley Johnson is coming to the team. Yes, I'm trading Gordon Hayward because he ain't the Gordon Hayward that we know ended up being the all-star in Utah. He's just a, he was just a young player. And now we have Wesley Matthews, who's really good around these times. I mean, 77 overall is good. But, I'm, I mean, maybe I was stretching it by saying really good. Okay. All right. I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to trade for Jimmy Butler. Not, not just because of all the things he's doing right now, but because he's Jimmy Butler in the Bulls uniform, baby. I love this man. I love this man. Um, so, we're actually dropping an overall. But we're getting Todd Gibson, who can help us out. So, I'll do that deal. I'll do that deal. Yeah. Fight me. Fight me. You know? I'm tr I traded the high overall and got back Jimmy Butler, but Jimmy Butler's on my team. He's got one badge, and that's lockdown defender. Finessed. Finessed. You see, you see Boston Celtics, right? You see Boston Celtics, and I told you I was going after a point guard. Which point guard you think we got? Rajon Rondo is the answer to that question. He is a 90 overall. He'll come in and instantly be our best player. Uh, obviously, he's a lot different than all the other point guards. He's averaging double-doubles and things like that. So, we got Rondo, Jimmy Butler, who are going against each other in the finals right now. Rudy Gay, Josh Smith. And I want to try to get a better center than, than what we have here. The crazy thing about all of this is that overall-wise, we are the third best team in the league. We have one all-star, two all-star, three all-stars. Overall-wise, we are the third best team in the league, but we are barely over 500 at the moment. Barely over 500. All right, let's go, boys. We are the two seed. Game one. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, 1-1. One, 2-1 one. One us. Get out of the first round, y'all. I feel like I haven't got out of the first round in so long in these vid this video. We lose game one against the Clippers. Who is on the clip? Oh. Oh, no. Wow. That's Chris Paul, ain't it? Chris Paul, Blake Griffin. Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, swept us in the second round, bro. As a six seed, they made it to the finals and got swept. We had to go through to Miami regardless, and that wasn't going to happen. All right. 
Y'all, now it's time to transition to next gen. So far, if I'm not mistaken, this was 2K what? This is 2K13 or is this 2K14? My percentage of championships, not great. So I got some real good memories of 2K15, man. This is like the first year that I decided really to like do my league as a full-time thing, I guess. And the worst team is trust the process Philadelphia 76ers. Now, I think we're about to have a little streak of, of 2Ks where the 76ers are the worst team in the league. But I told y'all at the very beginning that we will not. We will not use the same team back-to-back -back years. So Philly's now, and if Philly has the lowest overall next year, then we just go into the 2019. And you can see just dramatically the difference between Xbox 360 and Xbox One when they upgraded to this generation. And that's what gives me somewhat good hopes about the next gen. They're going to make some changes to my league because look at how many new settings we have. You know, we can mess with the hard cap value. We can... What else can we do that we couldn't do before? Um, we could always turn off injuries. Uh, team characters you go. But this type of stuff. This was, wasn't in the game last year. So we have all of this. I mean, we keep it 50 anyway. But they gave us more options when we upgraded to next gen. So expect the same thing on this PS5. On the new Xbox. Actually, don't expect it. I'm not saying that. I don't work for 2K. It could be the exact same. And then I wouldn't be surprised either. Philly. Let's get it. This is that one game that was super annoying and it took me a long time to get used to. You're not supposed to hit the start button because the start button gives you like this help menu instead of doing what the start button has always done throughout the history of gaming. So this team has Michael Carter Williams, who's coming off that rookie of the year. They have Joel Embiid, who was just drafted. But as you can see, he's only a 77, so he's not the JoJo we know today. No, there's Noel, Bamute, Tony Roten. Tony Roten got that Phineas and Ferb tattoo. Here's a roster. The roster's bad. Obviously, the worst team in the league. There's Jeremy Grant, who's turned into one of my favorite players to trade for in, in current 2Ks. But back then, he was a, a 78 overall. But they want Tony Roden as okay. We're gonna do we're gonna do the Darren Williams one. Um, I hit start again. You're not supposed to hit start in this game. You you can't. Deal. All right, Darren Williams. He plays for us now. He's on this. <gasps> picks. We got picks. Oh, it's over with. It's over, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm about to sit here and, and put together the trades because we got picks and. Picks mean greatness. It's about getting assets and flipping them. 26-year-old Derrick Rose. He's still an 88 overall, y'all. We starting this conversation, and I'm saying yes. Derrick Rose, welcome to the team. Oh, oh, we're about to really have a lot of fun in these videos now. With the picks, with us having picks now. With us having picks now, things are about to be so, so much better, bro. Oh, my God. It's about to be so much better. I'm super excited for this one. You know, the last couple I had lost the morale. My, my, my morale had dropped, you know, but now it's back up. It's back up, baby. I feel good. I feel like we're going to be able to win a championship. This Pelicans pick alongside with Joel and B. Let's see what we get. So I'm training for LaMarcus Aldridge. Yes, sir. I keep pressing start. Yes, sir. LaMarcus Aldridge coming into the team. Joel and B, I'm sorry, but it is a one-year challenge. I hope you understand that. Um... So, Mark, LaMarcus Aldridge and Derrick Rose should have played together in Chicago. The Bulls drafted him and then traded him away immediately. So, you know, we just making times right. You know, we just making times right. This might be the first year. I keep pressing start. Oh, I can't trade Ray Allen yet. I, I keep forgetting that. This might be the first year where I actually um, try to put together a complete roster instead of just a five-man rotation because I, I honestly do believe that we will be able to put together a solid by far the best trade-off we see is DeMar DeRozan welcome to the team DeMar now we only got two picks left so we got to use these picks uh the right way but instead I'm gonna have Nick Vucevic come to the team he's younger um he's back to Philly though he's coming back to Philly now let's find a small forward what is this I don't understand how this is like sorted you know I don't understand how it's sorted. I'm trading for Robin Lopez. We have LaMarcus Aldridge, so we don't really need our center position to be, like, anything crazy. Um, so we have it. Wait, didn't we trade? Didn't we trade for a small forward? Wait. No, I traded for Vucevic, and I was supposed to trade for a small forward, but instead I ended up with Robin Lopez. I just completely had a brain freeze. I guess it's going to be uh, Danny Granger, and then we also bring in Birdman. I keep pressing start, bro. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to bring in Birdman as well, uh, get us a backup center. 
So it is Derrick Rose, DeMar DeRozan, Danny Green, LaMarcus Aldridge, and uh, Nikola Vucevic and off the bench. Right now, we have Birdman and Tony Roten as guys that are cool. Tony Roten, honestly, we can run an eight-man. We can run an eight-man. I let D. Rose get all the minutes. No injury, so we ain't got to worry about that. DeMar... Yeah, I feel good. We were already a good team. We were already a good team. We are 12 and 4 at the moment. So we add that, those pieces, and we should, we should be able to rattle off some more. You see how dramatically different our team is when we have extra picks to trade instead of just the two? Being a GM back in the day was tougher than what it is right now because we about to rattle off win after I can't even see which ones we win. Oh no, it's in the very corner. Very small. It says W or L. And I'm seeing a lot of W's. KD won MVP. Jabari Parker won Rookie of the Year. Reggie Jackson, six man. Anthony Davis, fence player of the year. Damian Lillard, most improved. And, oh my God, we got to go through this team. Yikes. Greg Popovich and them are great. 64 wins. We won 54, if you were wondering. So, we have to we have to go through them eventually. Probably. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully not. Here are all NBA teams. Um, very weird to see some players in some of these old jerseys. Like, Paul George's jersey, I miss... Chris Paul in his jersey. Yeah, I don't really miss it too much. Uh, Russell Westbrook and, and Kevin Durant in these jerseys. I miss that. Boogie just playing in general. I miss that. So let's see how this goes. Derrick Rose did not. Oh, he did make an NBA team. NBA 13. He averaged 22, 5, and 8. Perfect. All right. Are we ready? I keep pressing start. Are we ready to see if we can win a championship? Four or 54 wins. And you know what we got to do. We got to shorten the rotation right now. So Birdman. Uh, you're getting a little less minutes, and I'm letting LaMarcus free his wings and playing all the playoff minutes. We're going against in the first round. It's going to be the Knicks. Game one is a win. Game two is a win. Game three is a win. Get out of here. Don't. And we get out of the first round. Okay. All right. Can we get out of the second round? Because that's been our problem in a lot of these videos. We lose game one. We win game two. Yep. Come on. We're going to go to the conference finals. One more game. Game seven. Is Simcast in this game? I don't even know if Simcast is in this game. Please be in this game. It is. Okay. All right. Cool. Don't y'all blow. I mean, Birdman, I'm sorry. You got to get those minutes taken away. I'm giving it to DeMar. I need, I need this win bad, y'all. I don't think y'all understand how bad I need this win. How do I slow down the speed in this game? I don't even know if you can. I don't know if you can stop slow down the speed. I think that was a future thing. We're going to lose. It's a five-point game. Oh, my God. Five, I mean, five-minute game, two-point game, our lead. Low-scoring battle. We have a one-point lead. It is one minute to go. It is tied up. 20 seconds. We're going on to the conference finals. Oh, my God. Can I get some? Oh, we're going against Miami, though. We're going against Miami, y'all. So, you know. You know how the Miami Heat work, right? You know. Wait. LeBron is back. Oh, wait, we're in 2015. Oh, my God. Okay, so LeBron, we don't have to worry about LeBron. The, the Heat aren't as good. I mean, they're in the conference finals, so they are a good team. But I, I was thinking I still was going against those LeBron teams. Yeah. Yes. First finals appearance since 2K? Like the V 2K? I told y'all, we're going to get to next gen and things are going to be a lot easier once we have those extra picks. Come on, bro. I knew it. I knew this team was going to be so good. They're so good. I can't. I can't look at it, bro. I can't look. I can't look. We're, we're down by double digits. We're down by 20. I cannot win a championship to save my... Wait. Come on. A little run. It's all you need. So, like I mentioned, two years in a row, the 76 are the worst team in the league. So, we got to figure out the second worst. But it keeps doing this thing where it's showing me the roster, which is cool. Like, I know that Bulls team. Um, but can we, like, actually get the 29th team is going to be the Lakers. Okay. Oh, my God. One more for Kobe. One more for Kobe. I got to get this one. I got to get this one. I'm going to be so mad at myself. I got to get this one. One last one. I'm ready for this one. I'm locked in. I mean, I've been locked in all video, and it's been, it ain't been working for me, but I'm, like, really locked in. So, we have 37-year-old Kobe, uh, Lou Will, Roy Hibbert, D'Angelo Russell, Jordan Clarkson, Brandon Bass, Julius Randle, Nick Young, Tarek Black, Robert Sacre, Anthony Brown, Jabari Brown, uh, Ryan Kelly, Larry Nance Jr. You're a real Lakers fan if, you were, if this was your team back this time. Because, again, this is one of the worst teams in the league. So, you are definitely a real Lakers fan if you were around these times. Let me know in the comment section. 
All right, so obviously we're not trading Kobe. He even has no trade clause. Because even so, even if we wanted to trade Kobe, we couldn't. Clay Thompson, welcome to the team. Uh, that's a big upgrade, man. Clay Thompson, Lakers fans been photoshopping Clay Thompson Lakers jersey for as long as I can remember, and now I finally did it. Last game we traded for Demar. Now let's see if we got better luck trading for Cal Lowry. Onto the team. Uh, got our point guard, got a shooting guard, got a small forward. Now we got to figure out our bigs position in the bench. There's Drummond. Three million dollars for Drummond. Actually, not that bad. I would trade. I will make that trade for Drummond. Three million dollars. Sure. We got a rebounding machine. Now we got a rebounding machine. All right. So we're trading. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cal Lowry. I just talked about how great I, and how happy I was to have you on the team. But you're the save overall with Jeff Teague, and we get a center in this trade. This is a deal. This is a deal. So we have a starting five that we that I actually like a bunch. Jeff T, Kobe, Clay, uh, Al Horford. I'm going to move to the power forward. That's what I mean. I'm, I need to move Al Horford to the four. Timothy Mozgov. Now, I understand. Lakers fans may not like the idea of bringing Timothy Mozgov to the team. But we ain't had to pay him a crazy amount of money to make it happen. PJ Tucker for a bunch of 60 overall. Sure. Welcome to the team, PJ. All right. So we actually, okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to get things going. We're going to take minutes away from Ronnie Price and Matthew Delvadova. We can run nine. We can run a nine, man. I'm going to give Kobe a bunch of minutes. He's old, but it's Kobe Bryant. I know he can do it. And we're going to run it like this. Russell Westbrook wins MVP. Ja, Manu, DeAndre Jordan. <laughs> Lavoy Allen's not a name I've heard in a long time. Billy Donovan wins coach of the year, even though we had a four win increase in theirs. Like we won four more games in them and he wins coach of the year. Hey, shout out to Billy though. You feel me? Shout out to Billy though. Uh, Lakers, Lakers, anybody from the Lakers. I see Clippers, Pau Gasol, but no Lakers on the all NBA team. Interesting. Defensive team, no Lakers. Rookie team, definitely not going to have no Lakers, but we were the one seed. That's all I care about. Forget the awards. Forget all of that. As long as look at our boy, Clay Thompson. Boom. I'm happy. As long as we win a championship, I don't care how many people make the RNBA team. Ray Allen's on fire, so I'll keep him his minutes. All right, Portland. We win game one. I don't want to simcast yet. I don't want to simcast yet. Game two. Uh-huh. One game away, and we get to the second round. We've been here before, y'all. You know? We've been here before in the last 2K. This team is significantly better, though. That's the thing. Oh, we lost the game. I was already moving on to the conference finals. All right, we're going against OKC, who just won coach of the year, MVP, and everything. We win game one. We win game two. We lose game three. Game five? I'm not simcasting it yet. Yep, three to us. We got us. Oh my god. No, no. I I did not I did not get this far to lose. I did not get this far. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. What a comeback. What a comeback. That third quarter, nobody was good. But the fourth quarter, we picked it up. Clay Thompson, 25, five steals, four assists. Kobe, 17, four, five. One series away, and it's LeBron. It's LeBron. Somehow, we're only the 14th best team. It's got to be bugged, right? This roster is definitely better than that roster. Well, nope. Nope. I can't say that for sure. They got Kyrie, LeBron, and Kevin Love, so who knows? We'll see. Game one is the Cleveland Cavaliers win. Okay. It wasn't even LeBron. It, we couldn't guard Kyrie. Game two is the Lakers win. Game three is not. 2-2. Two, two. Game 5 is big. One more game. <sighs> okay. All right. It's game 7. It's game 7. I got to get this rotation right. Ray Allen, listen, you're you're playing very well in the playoffs. Ooh, I can't take your minutes away. P.J. Tucker, you're not. I'm taking P.J. Tucker's away. P.J. Tucker minutes are gone. I need Clay. I need Al Horford. All of my guys. I'm taking some away from, like, Timothy Mozgov, too. He's, why, is, why is he shooting threes? Why have he hit two threes? In the playoffs. Why is he attempted three threes in the playoffs and hit two of them? I don't understand. Here we go. Game seven. Let's go Lakers. Oh, big time way to start the game off. It's over. It's over before it even started. It was over before it even started. I needed this one bad. I needed this one. Al Horford. First of all, look at the big games. Al Horford had 38, 18, and 9. In a Game 7 NBA Finals matchup. Klay Thompson had 30 and 6. Drummond had 30 rebounds. Kobe had a double-double with assists. Jeff Teague had a double-double with assists. We did it. For the first time in I don't know how long. And Al Horford wins Finals MVP. Because of course he did. Did you see that Game 7? Ray Allen got a championship right before he retired. Okay, I needed that one. I needed that one. So we're moving on to what? 
That was 2K16. 2K17 is coming next. How much time y'all got? Because we got the we hit the Paul George loading screen for a minute, y'all. The Paul George loading screen was there for a minute. And now we're moving on to the Brooklyn Nets, who have the worst offense, the second worst defense, and overall their roster is god, god awful. The other times, at least we started with Joel Embiid and a bunch of picks, and then we started with Kobe Bryant and some young players and picks. I don't think Brooklyn has picks or young players to trade. Because you remember, they gave up all their picks to get KG and Paul Pierce. So let's see if they actually have anything. <laughs> They don't have much. It's 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 okay though. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. What the rest of the roster look like? So we have Brook Lopez. We have Bogdanovich, Jeremy Lin, Luis Scola, Karis Levert is young. So oh my God, that's a hideous picture. It's kind of scary. Uh yeah, Anthony Bennett. Oh my God, yeah, this is about to be rough. I'm doing the Kevin Love trade because I don't want to face that team. You get me? You dismantle them. You dismantle them from the inside. You know? Now they got to worry about who's starting Tristan Thompson or Brooke Lopez. Nah. Uh-uh. I'm taking that away from y'all. Y'all not having that opportunity. All right. We really, it's not a lot to do with this team. I'm going to see. I mean, I'm going to try to work my magic. But, listen, we are, what, 18 games in? And Dwight is still pretty good. So, we'll trade for Dwight and Ken Bazemore. Uh, so, that gives us a power forward and center that we can, you know, start to try to build around. All right, I'd rather have the guard play. So I'm trading for Kemba Walker. Dwight Howard's going back to Charlotte. We're getting Nicholas Batum to deal. Um, I already traded for Josh Richardson. I mean, he's a slow overall. He's a 75, so he, he might not even stay on his team. So I'm going to trade for DeAndre Jordan. That's actually a good, good pickup, man. He's only three-star value, which is cool, not expansion. So right now, we have a somewhat good three. At this point in their careers, Derek Favors is a higher overall than Kevin Love. So... I'm going to go with the higher overall. I'm going to go with the higher overall. I mean, I think slowly we're getting our team better and better. We have 385 overalls. I did just have to trade J.R. Smith, but it's okay because I still have Josh Richardson. The team won 55 games, y'all. So, better team than expected. We even got the defensive player of the year, which is good. And better than expected. I'm going to go down here and take some minutes away from... I didn't even know we had Zaza Petunia. Um, we're taking some minutes away from him, though. He can still play, but just less minutes. Uh, Nicholas Batum is on fire. He had a really, really good season. So, yeah, give Nicholas Batum some minutes. Um, Dirk Favors probably didn't play as good as we wanted him to, but that's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Can we make some, some surprising noise? Game one against, yep. We're up 2-0 against Paul George's Indiana Pacers. 2-1, 3-1, second round, where we're probably going get, to get LeBron. But remember, we dismantled this team. We took Kevin Love from them and gave them Brooke Lopez. This is not the same team. This is not the same team. They're still pretty good. Okay, we we may have did all of that for no reason. Because we're going to go against them and potentially... No, we're up. This is game. This is a good game. This is a victory. It's a victory. All right, forcing the game seven. Here we go. Game seven in Cleveland. In Cleveland. So, they got the crazy fans over there. We're... Oh, we're done with. We're done with. Listen... This is not a team I expected to even be the three seed. So I'm not even mad at it. The Bulls made it to the championship and lost to Kevin Durant's Golden State Warriors. I would have probably lost to Kevin Durant's Golden State Warriors too. So it is what it is. We're moving on to 2K18. I'm finally on 2K18. Uh, I had a freaking glitch, y'all. I had to like Google how to fix a glitch to even allow me to play this game. We cannot have the Brooklyn Nets again. Thank God I was tired of it. It's my Bulls. God, what is my... It's my Bulls. Okay, whatever. Chris Dunn, Zach Levine, Dwayne Wade, Nico, and Robin Lopez. So, my Bulls are the, wor my, the, the worst team in the league. Ah, that hurts my heart. But I think the second time in this video, my Bulls. I mean, if your team has not been rebuilt on this video, that just means your franchise has consistently been at least okay. At least okay. My team in the last 20 years has been the worst team in the league multiple times. And that's crazy. All right, so here we go. You know, the first first year after the Jimmy Butler trade, yes, we were bad, okay? Dwayne Wade is, is 35 and making 23 million. He's literally got no trade offers. Not one. Nobody wants that contract in this age. Okay. Zach Levine is 22. He's probably gonna have some decent trade value. I mean, we got some good trade value pieces here with Chris Dunn and probably I got trade value. Larry Mark to have good trade value. So, you know, I, I wouldn't feel too bad about getting my team a championship. I don't even care. I don't even care. 
we just need to win a championship y'all I, I literally do not care if we have the same roster every single year i need to increase my stats um yeah welcome to the team tony out Al nah i'm okay with just having chris bosh can get us paul george can we finesse them though without giving up that that first can we get you two seconds instead sam Presti's a smart man can i give you three seconds instead all right, I, I think we have to accept the trade what it was, so we will. Two first, but Paul George is on the team, 91 overall player. We have him, we have Kemba, we have Wade because Wade is here to stay. I mean, Wade is going to really hinder us from like really, really increasing this team because it's $23 million contract. Hassan Whiteside is a stud in this game, 87 overall, deal. We have a center, we have a point guard, and we have a small four, big three potential. I just don't want Dwayne Wade. What I'm going to have to do, team intel go find a team like the atlanta hawks that have 20 million dollars in cap space and dump Dwayne wade there i'm just got to dump them there what about straight up what if give me a second okay i just needed that contract off the books because it allows us to do more surge and cj miles cool so we have a star lineup that's fire um shoot, tony allen mm, maybe not the best starter but we got a nice defensive look at this defensive team right here amazing amazing we need to get it better though we need to get it better tony allen being that guy is not it somehow i want to pull off this trade they want malcolm delaney they'll give me a pick sure malcolm delaney was again pt for us anyway so we're getting the same overall player the sound white San deandre jordan but we're also getting patrick beverly to come off that bench so we got a deal there uh we have a good backup uh for tony allen and deandre jordan fits that as well he's going to do the same defensive stuff and everything let's bring zach levine back sure welcome home zach you know, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back home. So we got a lot of scoring in that front court. We got good defense from the three through four. Sixth man, we got good defense. Seventh man, we got good defense. He ain't going to do much else. Look at these numbers. Four points per game, 36% for field. Didn't hit a three, didn't hit a free throw so far this season. So he's, uh, he might not be it. We traded these players away a few games ago, but now we're trading for him. I need some scoring. I need some bench play. And Julius Randle and, and uh, Jordan Clarkson helps us. We're running with two, like, real big bigs. Drummond is on the team. I'm making Drummond a power forward. Yup, I said it. Drummond is going to run power forward for us. Steph Curry, Lonzo, Jeremy Lin. Yup. Fred Hoiberg, coach of the year. 67 wins. That's the most wins we've had on any team in this video. So I'm excited. Paul George is all NBA second team. He averaged 27, 4, and 6. 50, 40, 90 club. I'm feeling good about this one. Drummond, all defensive first team. I'm feeling real good about this championship odds, man. Going against New York Knicks in the first round. Uh, shorten our rotation just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Bobby Portis is on fire. And actually, his per 36 numbers are amazing. But we don't need you to get those minutes. I'd much rather have those minutes go to Zach Levine, to our defensive first team type guy. Here we go. New York, entire round. And it's a sweep. We went on like a couple really big win streaks. We went on a 13 game. I think we went on a 17 game. So our boys are, are no, no punks. You know what I'm saying? They know how to win multiple games in a row. Okay, so we're going into game number two against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Up 2-0, 3-0. The Bulls are back in the finals for the first time since the 90s. And we're going against Kevin Durant, Steph Curry. And Steph Curry just won another championship, another finals. If he, nope. He just won another regular season MVP, and he got eight steals against us. That's unacceptable. Zach Levine, stop turning the ball over, Kimball Walker. Who else? Okay, game two is a win by us. Well, first of all, wait, wait, let's... Oh, well, well, that was chaos. That was pure chaos. But Paul George wins finals MVP. I was trying to see what our, our team rank was, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day. <sighs> a championship in 2K18, man. Okay. Now on to 2K19. We are almost there. I think I'll have like three championships. 2K19? I don't even have to switch no disc, baby. I just got the downloaded version. So let's see who the worst team in the league was for 2K19. Wow. Look at this, my team. This guy must have spent a lot of money. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy how we spend money to open packs. And then just after 12 months, none of it matters. You never go back to it ever again. So yeah, here's our team with the New York Knicks. Um everybody's where they should be and now i could get to the old thing of you know on the fly changing people's positions so they have higher trade value you know the, the good old thing victor ladipo and darren collison cool i had to throw in john jenkins but john jenkins was not hooping so let's get kevin love i might do the same thing where like i flip kevin love immediately <laughs> maybe not way better but better almost a 90 overall rudy gobert is coming into the, to new york to play with victor ladipo 
Could I be foreshadowing something with Victor Oladipo in New York? Potentially, potentially. John Collins, Alex Lynn, sure. Welcome to the team. John Collins is a hooper. Bro, Moody's overall is way higher than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I'm happy because it's going to turn into Chris Middleton and Malcolm Brogdon, but like, I did not expect them to have an 81 overall right now. So we have Victor Oladipo, Chris Middleton, uh, Malcolm, Malcolm Brogdon is off the bench right now, John Collins and Rudy Gobert playing Dre, Russell hmm i just realized kevin kevin knox is a rookie and he ain't he ain't been bad yet so he's got good value we might trade for russell westbrook and let malcolm brog to be the shooting guard oh we might do it i might have to and we will we bring in russell westbrook 90 overall point guard to new york so russell westbrook malcolm brog the chris middleton john collins and rudy gobert I feel so good, man. Oh, my God. After games and games in this video of me just struggling to put together competent teams, I'm just doing it easily now. Montrez at a trade exception. Cool. Montrez Harrell was that backup big we were talking about. And I'm going to make Montrez a power forward. You know how the thing go. Boom. He's an 85. And he might start over Pascal, depending on who you ask. I actually want Pascal to start. Thank you. Okay. Now we're good. Damian Dotson. Don't love it. Don't love having Damian Dotson as a rotational player. He is. He is a 76 overall. He is. But what if I throw him and Jim? No, Jim is not going to be bad. Him and Josh Hart for the small forward I'm looking for. Joe Harris. All right, Joe Harris would be that small forward. Trust him more than Damian Dotson. And now we're ready to sim. Finally. Finally ready to sim. Another real quick, I think, rebuild. I think this is another championship quality team. I think this might be better than our, our Bulls team that we just built. So, New York, here we come. Ten years later. But the season is wrapped. Steph Curry wins MVP. Aiden, Chris Middleton, who traded away, wins six man of the year. All right. Uh, Giannis, defense player of the year. Darren Collison, most improved. I think I traded him away, too. <laughs> Everybody just won in the awards. We did not have the best record in the league. We still have to go through this 99-99-99 team. So, you know, buckle in, boys. Buckle in, boys and girls. It's it's going to be rough. Oh, I traded Boogie away, and he made an all-NBA team. I traded Victor Lipo away, and he made an all-NBA team. Huh, is there anybody else? Russell Westbrook on our team. All NBA. 22-7 and... I was 22-8 and 8, two steals. We'll round up for Russell. So first round, we are going against the Pistons, who have, like, Blake and Drummond. That's it. That's a sweep. That's a sweep of a series. We move on to the next one. JK. I mean, I don't know. It's going to take forever. You see the sim speed. Oh, my God. Um, you remember what the sim speed was like in the 2K4 person of this video? And now we're all the way here, and the sim speed is, is just so much slower it's terrible. It's terrible. All right, we're going against Philly in the second round. I really don't think there's anybody out east that can really mess with us. I, my big question is this, uh, that Warriors team, of course. So we get to the conference finals to go against Chris Middleton, sixth man of the year. Um, they take game one, but we come back game two. They're up to one. I'm not going for that. So now we got to normalize this roster by shortening the rotation. We still have David Fisdale as coach. Wow. That feels like years ago. It was years ago. Yep, it was years ago. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Next game, we win. 3-2 them. This is kind of my fault. I took Pascal away from them, and apparently they're a better team without Pascal, I guess. We lost. Nice. Nice. You know. Who's on that team, bro? I'm sorry. I got to I got to look in. Who's on this team? Kawhi. Oh. This is the Kawhi year. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sure. D yeah. They it makes sense. It does make sense. I I thought our team was better. First of all, we've seen this picture of Kobe in the last 4 2Ks. 4 years in a row, same picture. Four, remember that. 4 years in a row. 4 years in a row, same picture of the Kobe. I thought we put together an amazing team. I forgot Luca was even on the roster. He only averaged 13 because he was a rookie. But I don't understand it. 2K20. Almost done, y'all. Almost done. We have the Charlotte Hornets, too. I've done a video on rebuilding them before. So I have a I have a pretty nice blueprint on how to make this work. Um, and I feel like we're gonna be able to get this done pretty easily. Um, it's just a matter of hey. Is any other team out there about to really challenge us? And it's possible. I mean, we put together an amazing team last year and didn't make it to the final. So anything is really possible here. JK. We <laughs> JK, we're bringing in Donovan Mitchell. It's going to bite me. Watch they eliminate us in the finals or something. Because we trade Chris Middleton away and he just automatically becomes a god. 
So we throw the pick away, uh, but we get Clint Capella to run our center position, something we needed. So right now, our team is Schroeder, Mitchell, um, DeMar DeRozan, Steven Adams, and I'm going to make Clint Capella the power forward because we're just trying to cheese the system as one of many championships is the, at the end of this. Duncan Robinson, welcome to the team. Make him a small four. He's going to play back up small four minutes. Boom, overall goes up. Um, overall, the the balance of the team is looking fine. I don't want Scalabissier to get a minute, so if we can prevent that, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy. So you throw him, Chris Silva, and we don't have any more picks. <laughs> the quickest on the fly. This is basically like a five-minute rebuild. That's the way I've been looking at it. Boom, Aaron Baines. Make him a power forward. We're a championship quality team. We got Aaron Baines on the roster. That should have been something we were trying to do since he was in the league, since he got in the league. Boom, 82 overall. And now we are actually ready. Now we're actually ready. Um, system and stuff. I mean... Just get a better coach than, than James Borrego. And we're going to get Stafford. Make it a 10-man again. And then simulate. So, I'll see y'all in about 40 minutes my time. But it's going to be instant for y'all. Oh, man. Whew, talk, I'm, I could have taken a whole nap in that time. LeBron MVP. Ja, Yusuf Nurkic. Kawhi, Luka Doncic. And our coach, 61 wins. Okay. Charlotte Hornets. Anybody? Anybody? Nope. Nope nope <laughs> nobody made any teams for us that's fine that's fine you don't have to respect us we're just gonna win the championship and get out of your hair miami's in the first round they might be on the road to potentially being champions oh wait this video is gonna drop after game six so the series could be over at this point when you're watching this video i don't know i can't predict the future but as of right now the series is still going on and you don't really know we don't really know so we get out of the first round Cleveland make the playoffs, and not only that, they beat Philly in the first round. I don't know how that's possible, but they did it. They did it. Do I even need to go to NBA 2K21? Because it's the same game. It's the same rosters, too. Wow. It really is the same game and same rosters. Wow. So we're probably going to have to... We're in the championship. It doesn't matter. We're in the championship to go against the Clippers. Game one is a win. Two. I just can never just have an easy path. None of these, none of these rebuild challenges that we've actually won has been easy. You know, we always got to go game sixes, game sevens. Can we just sweep? There's a win. There's a win. Un undoubtedly a win. Okay, one more. Yes, champions. Demar Finals MVP. Okay, he got his. All right, y'all. Last year, let's end it with a bang. It is the Cleveland Cavaliers, according to 2K21. I mean, the roster is not bad. I don't think it's gonna take too long to turn this into like the championship roster that we think it could be. Um, we got some young pieces that are going to be tradable. I'm making everybody the right position. And I think we're going to be good, man. I think we're going to be good. So I will start off with a guy like Drummond. Throw McCollum Sexton. First round pick. And we talking star. Clay Thompson. I'm giving up a lot, but it's Clay Thompson. And it's Eric Pascal on top of that. The homie. So that's a done deal. Now I'm going to throw Kevin Love with Darius Garland. All the good young players that Cleveland has, they have to go to win a championship. It's just it's just the way, the, the way things go. So we're bringing in Jamal Murray. Deal. Okay, so right now, we have a good backcourt. I have a power forward that I really like in Drummond. Uh, we need to figure out that center and small forward position. I like I like Will Barton, but more as a backup than a starter on a championship team. So if I can somehow get a better small forward than that and move Will Barton over, we're in a good spot. Yep. Uh-huh. Don't matter. It doesn't matter that we already had him. Klay Thompson is going to small forward. Malcolm Brogdon is going to... Actually, Jamal Murray is going to shooting guard. Boom. All right, now the center position needs help. See how easy it is nowadays? I miss the good old days where every rebuild and challenge was hard. No, JK. Because uh, I was really struggling early in this video, bro. Forget all of that. Where's the center? Where's the cheap, good center to, to run for us? It's not that many good, cheap centers. Except for, I know one off the top of my head that we can just go out there and get. Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. He's making $1 million a year. He's always available. I'll give you Kevin Porter Jr. They want a second round pick. Deal. See how easy it is to get Mitchell Robb? So, starter lineup is cool. Um, nobody's completely safe. I'll, I'll test the waters a little bit for, like, Malcolm Brogdon since we still do have another pick. Oh, man. Okay, we're here. It's over. Season's over. Here are the awards. You don't care. I know you don't. I know you don't. Let's see if we can win this championship. We're the two seed. Here we go. We're going against Orlando. They're usually a cakewalk in the playoffs. They'll win one game, potentially, but that's going to be it. They're going against the almighty Cleveland Cavaliers at the end of the day. I'm just going to sit back and watch it happen. Conference finals, no adjustments, championship to go against LeBron and Anthony Davis. Yep. 
I'm stopping it. I'm stopping it. I'm. St we're one game away. I have to make this. I have to make changes now. We're one game away. I can't. I can't allow it to be the last game. The last game? No. 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 Simcast. Ah. Wow. Disgusting. I don't know how many we won. It wasn't a lot, but hopefully you did enjoy me going through all. I think this is 21. 21 games of NBA 2K and rebuilding the worst team. If you've got to this point, you 100% enjoyed it because I know it was long. So leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I'm tired. I'm, I, I need to get out of here. Now I got to figure out how to edit this thing. So that's also a problem.